Testing again. Hey, just giving it a little bitty test. Yep, yep, we're giving it a little bitty test. We test with the best of them, my freestyle, my freestyle, oh, oh, oh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Ariel Show. I've got a great topic for you today. Nikki Nick Nick asks, do you consider yourself a feminist? Well, Nikki Nick Nick, great question. Um, if you are wondering if I think women should be treated equally as men and women deserve the same amount of money as men and women should get the same respect as men, then yeah. I sure do. Some of us might be hesitant to call ourselves feminists. I totally get that. It's a really loaded term. Um, I actually looked up the definition for you this morning. I thought I'd share that with you real quick. Feminism means the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Is there anyone among us who would not say then that we are for feminism, that we are for equal rights? Yes, I'm a freaking feminist. Yes, I think women should be treated equally as men. We're half of society, half of the population. This is a non-question. Of course women should be treated equally as men. Like, duh, what freaking century are we living in? Helen Mirren's got like the best quote about this and she says, for me, feminism is just f***ing obvious. It is not an ideological or a political thing. We're half the population. I don't even see it as a cause. It's just f***ing obvious. Well said, Helen, I hear you. I feel the same way. Feminism shouldn't be a cause. But you know, the thing is, this still is an issue, even though it shouldn't be. If you're watching, you don't think this is an issue, my guess is that you're probably a dude. And I love you dudes. Like, of course, you're the other half of the population. You're wonderful, I love you. And you know what? I've been thinking about it. If we chicks ran the world, if we were like the dominant gender from the very beginning, I probably wouldn't love the idea of like relinquishing that to the males either. I'd probably be like, I'm just fine getting paid more than you because I'm better than you. Like that's probably where my twisted head would just naturally go. So if you're a dude and you feel threatened by feminism, um, I get that, but let's move on, okay? Like really equality, it's so obvious. Like for every five men in Congress, there exists one woman, not even one woman. Women earn 81 cents for every dollar that men earn and 50% of the workforce in all industries are made up of women. Not every industry, but just overall of the industries. But only 13% of board members are women. You guys, stuff has to change. There's a long way to go. There is a huge gap between the way that women are treated and men are treated. But I wanna say this, a lot of it is not obvious. A lot of it is subtle, it is under the surface. It is implied gender bias. So that means that we might not pick up on it right away because it's so subtle and so under the surface. And you know what, we've all grown up in this society where women are considered second class to the dominant gender of men. Just to give you a little implied gender bias example, when we were on Ship Rocks last year, we were sound checking and I was um, in my little room like putting on my stuff, getting all ready. So I came to sound check a couple minutes behind the boys. That's how we usually do it because they're hauling gear. I don't want to haul gear. It's not because I'm a woman, it's because I'm lazy. So me and Adam are backstage and I asked the sound guy like, hey, can we dial us into the system? And he looks at Adam to talk to me and he goes, is this your singer? And I'm like, yeah, I'm the singer. And I was like, yeah, she's the singer. And he continues to communicate with Adam about my microphone and my in-ears and my gear. Like I wasn't intelligent enough to know how to work and run my own microphone and to have a conversation that I have with sound guys all over the world about how I run my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's just one little example of just implied gender bias where it's not super obvious. He wasn't saying, you're a chick, you can't be the singer, you're a girl, you don't know how to run your own microphone, but it was subtle. It was just underneath the surface and it made me take pause and I thought, man, that's really lame. I probably should have said something, but I didn't. But you know what, maybe next time that happens, I will say something. Feminism and equal women's rights has been kind of a hot topic in the last couple years, and you know what? It should be. It should continue to be. I don't care if we're sick of hearing about it. We're going to keep talking about it until stuff continues to change. And mark my words, it will change. I think one of the most outdated practices that we use here in the States and in all of the Western world is using women as sex objects to sell product. Using women as sex props in music videos. I think if women want to be posing as sex props in music videos, they have every right to do that. But the 
fact that that's most of the time how you get noticed in the industry. For example, let's say you want to be an actress, but the only gig that you can get is one where you're wearing a bikini in some guy's rap video. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a model and the only way that you can make it to the top is to pose nude, that's a problem. You should be allowed as a woman to set the boundaries that you want for yourself. And so I think it's going to become more and more taboo to use women to sell things like hamburgers and vodka. And as a woman, I have a really powerful way since I'm in the entertainment industry that I don't have to use my body as bait to get more listeners. Obviously, that's what Nayi knows about. I've been in this industry for eight years and I've managed to stay clothed the entire time and I think that's a powerful thing. However, I don't think any less of my coworkers in this industry who are also female and who choose to use their body um, to look beautiful and who choose to show their body off, that's totally fine. I have nothing but love for them. But for me, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel like a good idea for me, so I choose not to participate in that. And I think what's really cool is that as a side effect of that, I'm able to prove to my listeners that you can be a powerful, strong, beautiful woman without taking your clothes off. And if you are a woman, I suggest that you do what you can in your sphere of influence. And if you're a male, I suggest you do what you can in your sphere of influence. We can all change our mindsets. We can change the way that we present ourselves. And we can stop being okay with really awful, stereotypical ads featuring women as sex props. And I just want to say this, that me being someone who wants equal rights for male and female, so me being technically a feminist, has nothing to do then with how I choose to express myself. So I can wear as little or as much makeup as I want want and that's totally cool. I can shave my legs or not and that's totally cool. Like that has nothing to do with it. So don't get caught up in those stereotypes about feminism and wear whatever you want. Express yourself however you want, but don't judge other people who aren't participating in that. So if there's a woman who is not aligning with the Western standards of beauty, who is deciding, for example, not to shave her armpits, like, don't flinch at that. Don't get grossed out at that. That's just you contributing to the old stereotype. But you guys, these things are changing. We need to jump on this bandwagon and help make this change happen because I'm hoping that one day mistreating women will be extinct. We won't allow it anymore. We won't allow companies to use women in advertisements as sex objects. We won't allow rap gangsters to use women as sex props in their music videos anymore. And we won't allow our own thoughts to judge other people based on their gender. Okay, that's what I have for you today. I know this is a loaded topic, so I'm sure you have some thoughts on it, so please leave a comment for me below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I love you so much, and I will see you next week. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right here. Love you.